वेलकम बैक टू थर्ड एक्सरसाइज ऑफ वॉबलर स्टीम इंजन और थर्ड पार्ट सिलेंडर नाउ लुक सिलेंडर इट्स मटेरियल इज ब्रास क्वांटिटी वन नाउ दिस इज द सिलेंडर नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस टॉप व्यू यू विल सी फाइव बाई एट इंच लॉन्ग विथ हाफ इंच एंड देर इज अ टू सर्कल दिस डॉटर लाइन शोज इट इज इन साइड और बैक साइड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओके थ्री बाई एट इंच दिस इज गोइंग टू बी रिमेंबर नाउ देर इज द विथ ऑफ दिस वन एंड वन बाई एट इंच देन देर इज अ होल थ्री बाई एट इंच एंड देंथ ऑफ होल इज वन बाय थर्टी टू इंच ओके सो लेट्स मेक दिस देन देर इज एट बॉटम देर इज वन होल कट आउट सी दिस हाफ इंच सर्कल इट्स गोइंग टू कट फ्रॉम बॉटम एंड this is going to be like uh, 1 by 8 inch so let's try we will before going to start edit documents unit documents property unit ips and here i am going to change fraction let's say 128 always i i keep maximum so that it won't hamper our things top plane sketch now activate line and i am going to draw somewhere like this okay press escape key to out now make few important relation hold shift key and select center point and line mid point okay now select these two lines horizontal okay now even though these two lines equal smart dimension now first this is going to be 1 by 2 inch now from here to here 5 by 8 inch now let's define angle 45 degree okay now let's make one circle okay we will use here perimeter circle now i am going to select 1 2 and not this again select perimeter circle select uh, this one this one and this one select for construction okay smart dimension now this distance given here 3 by 8 now see this is fully defined sketch extrude now this portion we will keep upper side so go downward and here you have to apply the lead press one space bar 1 by 8 look you will see the preview see okay now let me change appearance okay appearance we will change letter back side sketch activate circle and here draw one circle activate circle not perimeters press escape key to out smart dimension now the distance of this is same like uh, 3 by 8 inch diameter also 3 by 8 inch okay now one more relation hold shift key select center point of circle origin leave shift key and you will see this pop up horizontal look now go to feature and select extruded cut feature now here we have to define not vertex keep blind and here we have to define the length and that is one space bar 1 by 32 inch see the preview okay look now show the first drawing sketch now see the previous we created this line select this line convert entity look now we need to extrude cut 
here how much depth 1 by 8 inch look but here select flip side to cut look this is going to cut outside of the circle say yes and here we go now let me hide this see now let's make here one hole see this is a rod the length 5 by 8 inch from distance and uh, this is throughout hole and here one more hole and this is 1 by 16 and this is also up to the inside hole and this distance 3 by 8 inch so select this face this sketch now activate circle and here draw two circles 1 2 ok now make important relation hold shift key select these center points and origin point and make in one line so make vertical so this is now in one line A smart dimension now this whole diameter 1 by 8 inch this whole diameter 1 by 16 inch ok now the first distance from bottom 5 by 8 inch fine and the distance between these two holes 3 by 8 inch look isometric view now here's activate extruded cut feature and we need to cut up to inside so let me try first up to next next means this inside wall say ok ok here if you see section view ok now look the hole is created up to the inside hole now here if you see there is a one circle 7 by 16 inch and this is also a cutout you will see here a small dimension 0 0.01 this is the depth for this hole then here one more cutout see depth 0 0.005 you will see this 1 by radius 1 by 2 so both side have we have cut out and this is 0 0.05 okay then we have to make this rod this rod length you will see here 5 by 8 and 0 0.18 inch from this outer space okay so let's make this cut out first select this face sketch activate circle and draw here one circle A smart dimension 7 by 16 inch now activate extruded cut feature now here choose blind and depth is very small 0 0.01 inch ok now look select again this face sketch now activate circle and take from this smart dimension now radius is 1.2 so 1 point 1 by 2 into 1 2 so it's going to be 1 inch extruded cut now depth is very small 0 0.005 inch but here choose flip side to cut look this is going to cut only up to this side in both side ok look here also it's going to cut a very small portion now ok I am going to choose this face sketch here we have to make same diameter of rod so I am going to simply choose this circle because this is 1 by 8 convert entity extrude now look we have to extrude in two direction direction 1 is outside and this is going to be 5 by 8 and here activate direction 2 and this is going inside and inside it's 0 0.18 inch look and make sure unmerge result so that we will get two separate body ok now here we have a small chamfer so activate chamfer this one 
Now here I am going to choose chamfer type. This is angle distance. Item to chamfer you have to choose edge or face. So we selected edge. Tangent propagation. Okay. Full preview. Now chamfer parameter. Let me first put dimension. 0 0.005 into 45 degree. You will see the preview here. Okay. Rest as it is. Okay. Look. Now here you have to see two body, one body and two body. Okay, now what else balance here? We did everything. Now here see all are 0, 0 radius, all corner radius 0, 0, 005 inch, 0 0.005 inch. And here also these cut out corner fillet 0 0.002 inch. So we will do it all the one by one. We covered almost all the things. So activate fillet, constant type fillet and first I will put radius 0 0.005. Now here I am going to choose. So I am going to select this first vertical lines so that later it makes ease for us. This time I am going to select only vertical. Now even though you have to choose this line. Okay, we selected almost 14 lines, say OK. Now again activate fillet, constant type fillet 0, 0, 0 0.005 inch symmetric. Now here I am going to select. Now if I am going to select this one, this is selected whole because these are the already radius. See this corner already radius. So we don't need to select one by one. These all are tangent each other. Okay, come down. In bottom also, if I am going to select this one, see, this is selected all this. Okay. Now, here all the re things are covered. Okay. Now, the last one, let's say, fillet. This time constant size fillet radius is 0 0.002. Now for this, I am going to select these corners. 1, 2. One, two. Okay, for this 0 0.002 inch. Constant type fillet. Now let's apply material. So right click on material, edit material. We have to apply brass. So brass you will find in copper alloy. See brass. If you select, you will see all the properties of this material, elastic module, poisons ratio, mass density, everything, tensile strength, everything. Just say apply. Just see the material is apply. Close. But uh, I don't want this, so appearance I'm going to change. For better look, I like this. Okay. Now let me save this. Now this is going to be part third cylinder thanks for watching don't forget to share and like our video and keep watching for next part